so let us have one example for such nylon 6 6 already we well known about the preparation of nylon 6 6 the nylon 6 6 is produced from CH2 taken 6 NH2 what is this hexamethylene diamine when reacts with adipic acid CH2 taken 4 COOH so this is here what is the name of the compound adipic acid and here is hexamethylene diamine at optimum temperatures these two reacts with each other in the presence of dehydrating agent generally the used dehydrating agents are dcc or dccd the loss of water molecule expected between these two and produces nh ch2 taken 6 nh ch c double bond o ch2 taken 6 COOH or we can write it as C double bond O this is it continuously takes place as per our previous cases the two monomers which are useful or which are required for the prepara uh, preparation of nylon is six carbon species this is also six carbon species hence the resulting compound is called as nylon 6 6 it indicates the two starting materials or monomers are having six six carbons and next one more nylon six nylon six one more example which is also helps us to understand the condensation polymerization here as per our second statement here or third st uh, second statement here loss of neutral species during the polymerization in between these two loss of water molecule expected Similarly, let us learn nylon 6, C double bond O, CH2, 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 NH. These are called as cyclic amides cyclic amides they are also called as caprolactam so here this caprolactam molecules at high temperature they produces c double bond o ch2 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 nh and one more caprolactam molecules connected to this carbon or connected to this nitrogen to produce a long chain during the preparation. The resulting compound is called as nylon 6. Why? Because how many carbon species are present in the monomer? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hence it is called as 6. Nylon 6. So these two are the examples for examples which can stands as stands for condensation polymerization here these two examples are comes under polyamide classification or polyamide type and let us learn something more examples to explain condensation polymerization the second type is polyesters polyesters so what are polyesters generally c double bond o o are type of functionality if identified such functionality is called as polyesters let us explain here when ethylene glycols 1 comma 2 dihydroxyethane or ethylene glycol reacts with
what is this terephthalic acid t r e p h t h a l i c terephthalic acid or we can consider it as 1,4 benzene dicarboxylic acid now these two reacts with each other then loss of water molecule so this is alcohol type of functional group or alcohols these are acids esterification reaction in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid or dehydration rehydrating reagent produces to produce this is whereas co c double bond o benzene c double bond o this so it continuously takes place